Hey everyone, it's Croc again, and in this video we're going to be showing you how to transfer all of your scene collections by exporting them from Streamlabs OBS and then importing them into OBS Studios. So let's get into the video. So there's plenty of reasons why you might want to move over from Streamlabs OBS and move into OBS Studios. One of the main reasons people move is because of the CPU usage in slobs being much higher than OBS. One of the other reasons that people move over is because of all the increased creativity you get by using plugins with OBS Studio. Now we'll get straight into it and the first thing you'll need to do is bring up Streamlabs and you'll go up here where your scene collection is and at the top click the down arrow click manage all then select the scene collection that you want and rename it so that it's something really recognizable like I have here slobs to OBS for my importing and then press enter or return to make sure that it saves once you've done that you need to go into the settings in the bottom left hand corner down here and you click on scene collections and then all you have to do is click export overlay file now you should make sure that it goes to this directory here where it's the local disk or wherever you have your roaming data for slobs client mine happens to be in c drive users my username app data roaming slobs client and then scene collections and all you have to do is name it i've already named mine there as so I can just click it and save it. I'll overwrite that one. Now, when it's finished exporting, all of the spinning timers will be gone from these buttons and you'll just need to go to done. Go back to OBS Studio. You go up to scene collection up here. And then on this list, you just scroll down, go to import. And on your list on here, it should have Streamlabs OBS or whatever name that you made that was memorable for you. And you click the tick button and you click import. And once that's done, you can go up to the scene collection at the top here. And all you'll need to do, this one will be my new one because I've just added a second one with the same name. Yours will have the name that you put in as your scene collection. Click on that and instantly you should have your scenes imported all from Streamlabs OBS and I've got all my old ones from here that I had in Streamlabs OBS. If I go back to the one that we were on just now. So from here, you all you'll need to do is go through and double check everything's good because some things might change a little bit, obviously because it's a different program. Now, the first thing that most people worry about is what about my alerts? My alerts were all in on Streamlabs. All you'll need to do, go to your browser and you'll go to your Streamlabs dashboard. Just on there, just, that link will be in the description below. You scroll down here, have a look down and you'll find alert box. Click on alert box and you'll be able to edit all of your Streamlabs alerts on a web page and it will all integrate into OBS Studio just like it it does with Streamlabs. First thing I would do um, if you're trying to improve your possibilities for creativity would be go and install StreamFX which is a plugin for OBS Studios and the link for that will be in the description below as well. Now, I hope this was helpful for you if it was click the subscribe button click the like button don't forget the notification bell for more tips and if you'd like to drop by my stream and ask me any questions, I stream every day from 8 a.m. UK time, except for Mondays and Wednesdays. Hopefully I'll see some of you there. Have a good one.